Hello, I'm Tracy O'Dwyer and today I'm coming to you from home on behalf of the Onstead Institute at the University of North Texas. We're going to be making protection, not perfection, face masks out of old t-shirts. No so. For supplies, we need scissors, a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, no problem. We can use a piece of notebook or printer paper instead, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Most importantly, we need an old t-shirt. The first step is to take our t-shirt and lay it flat on our workspace. Our next step is to measure. We want the width of our mask to be seven to eight inches wide, and we want the height to be five and a half, five and a half to seven inches long. If you're using paper, it's as simple as folding your paper in half. It is already seven and a half inches wide, and this is roughly five and a half inches in depth. Your next step is to actually cut the material. We are going to be cutting our strip for the, the mask itself, as well as two one inch strips that we're going to cut for the straps around the ears. Those are easy to eyeball, so we're not even going to bother with measuring those. For the sake of this recording, I'm going to be using the paper instead of the ruler because it's just as easily done. I am going to go ahead and cut my strips first. I'm going to start by taking off this edge because I don't want any of the pre-sewn areas. They can actually be quite uncomfortable behind your ears. You just want it as straight as possible but these are not as important to be perfect. Again, we're talking about protection, not perfection. So now that I've cut my strips off the bottom, I'm going to set them to the side and then I'm going to lay my paper out onto the fabric and I'm going to use it as my guide to cut the material. I'm cutting through both the front and the back of the t-shirt so that we get the double layer to give us extra protection. Another option for extra protection is that you can boil water on the stove and actually soak the t-shirts in that water and air dry them prior to doing this and it will tighten up the fibers so that you have just that little bit more of protection. So now we have our cut rectangle. An important tip is our ear straps are actually going to need to be stretched. So if you take each one and twist it into a figure eight in your hands and then stretch them as far as they will go, it's okay if the seams pull apart, we're cutting them apart anyway. We're just trying to get the fibers stretched as far as they can go so that we can have string. Our next step is to cut holes along the edges so that we can weave our string that we've made in and out in order to pull the mask and actually attach it to our faces. So we're going to actually fold the edges in and then we're going to cut little slits. I like to start at the center and then go to the very end and then the very end and then I do the center 
and the center. And then I proceed to cut center, 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 and get the holes closer and closer. The closer the holes are to one another, the nicer the weave and the nicer the pleat will lay against your face. After you've completed that on both sides, we're going to unfold and we're going to use the scissors to feed through and kind of enlarge those holes. We're gonna do that on both sides. just to make sure that we have enough room to weave our string ear pieces through. Now, the string that we've already stretched, we're going to trim. And you can cut away those centers. We've actually made four pieces by doing this. This actually means that if we want to utilize this so that we can tie it behind our head as opposed behind our ears, we have long enough string to do that. I'm gonna show you both ways to do it. But either way, what we're going to do is we're going to just pull that string directly through the edges. We're going to do that on both sides. And then we're going to use the natural fold of the material to pleat and pull that tight. Now I'm going to loosely tie the edges. I'm not gonna pull the knot down tight because I want to be able to adjust it. And then I want to measure against my face and see how it fits my ears. And I want to be able to tighten that knot to make it sit nicely on my face. Now that you've adjusted the ear pieces so that they're comfortable on your face, as well as if you've decided to use it as the headpiece, you've adjusted it so it's comfortable. You can trim off the extra string on either side. And now you have the option to decorate it however you would like. You can draw and you can paint. Lots of different ways to make this your own. The trick is to make sure that you utilize something that can be washed because you're going to want to wash this. If you are already an experienced sewer, then you can also stitch along the bottom and utilize a coffee filter or a purchased air filter to put inside and make this have that extra layer of protection. For the sake of this video, we are not going to sew, we're keeping it very simple. We just wanted to show the basic no sew face mask. And this is our finished mask. Again, this is Tracy O'Dwyer coming from home on behalf of the Onsted Institute at the University of North Texas. Stay safe.